Hey guys, I'm Bryce Sherbach, and this is Local Flavor St. George, Utah. St. George is the population center for the southwestern corner of the state, but in reality, when you talk about mountain biking in this part of the world, you're really kind of referring to St. George and its surrounding areas, which includes Hurricane, Santa Clara, La Virgen, Virgin. So, mountain biking here is a pretty phenomenal experience. You're in what is uh, arguably one of the finest natural playgrounds uh, on the planet. Planning a trip to St. George is a really good decision. St. George has plenty of lodging options. So does Hurricane. I'm actually staying in Laverkin, which is kind of the gateway to Zion and Virgin. This area has no shortage of really tasty places to grab a cup of coffee or a bite or even a beer afterwards. River Rock Roasters is in Laverkin and they have a drive through spot which happens to be right next to my hotel. And they also have a place you can go in, sit down, grab a coffee, grab a breakfast, you can grab your lunch, you can even grab your dinner there. In St. George, there's a coffee and food truck called Afogato and I've been stopping there regularly for their Americanos and their smoothies, which are amazing. As you might imagine, there are several bike shops in the area as well. Red Rock Bicycle in St. George and in Hurricane Over the Edge Sports. All right, we're getting pretty close to the trails. Before we get on the bike though, let's sit down and have a chat with Simran and we'll hear from her what makes this area so special and some of the work that it took to elevate the mountain biking profile to what it is today. My name is Simran Chacon. Um, I have almost a 20 year history with mountain biking in this community. Uh, in three different capacities, I suppose. Uh, the first one, I, I was the landscape architect for the BLM and initiated the first legal trails that happened here in St. George. The two last things I did before I resigned from the government, which is something people rarely do, um, <laughs> was got the Gooseberry Mesa as a National Recreation Trail designated um, through Congress and signed the agreement to start the Santa Clara River Reserve, which is barrel roll suicidal tendency, and they're still building off of that master plan today. Um, I moved away for a short amount of time and came back and founded the Dixie Mountain Bike Trails Association. Um, I was the president for, for three years, and it's been off and running ever since. In 2009, I started the first ultra endurance mountain bike race, the 25 Hours of Frog Hollow. Uh, grow races and we now have four major races in the community been putting them on for 10 years and between three and six hundred racers uh, in that scene and they're selling out and in your estimation what makes mountain biking uh, in this area so special a couple of things one we have year-round riding I mean it's it's gorgeous here all the time um, we have amazing scenery. Uh, we have unique technical slick rock single track trails. 90% um, of our trails are purpose built for mountain bikers, which is really unusual. 90% um, uh, of our trails are mountain bike only. We have almost zero shared use. So, um, and when it, when it is, it's uh, really chill. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you can just ride every day. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can ride somewhere different. We have hundreds and hundreds of miles um, without a lot of competition on a daily basis because we're not a major metropolitan area. Um, so that makes it pretty pretty special. It's kind of a lifestyle. You just live to, to recreate. That's what we do every day. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. You're I'm taking you guys down the Hurricane Rim Trail. What's cool? about this trail is that it's right along the edge of the Colorado Plateau and also the Virgin River Canyon directly below. So a bit about this trail, we are on the edge of the Colorado Plateau as I said and we're also right along the edge of one of the planet's largest volcanic and earthquake fault lines. I think Gooseberry Mesa, it's safe to say, is what put this place on the map. And these trails came 
shortly afterwards. This trail in particular is, without a doubt, the most technical trail of the GEM network. Right now, to our east is Zion National Park. To our north, or rider's right, are the Pine Valley Mountains, about 10,200 feet above sea level. To our south and west, the Mojave Desert. What I love about this trail, besides the rubber to dirt enjoyment of it, is that there's always something awesome to look at. This place in general offers riders a lot. You have trails like this, you have the mesas, you have stuff made famous by videos and by Red Bull Rampage as well. In St. George, you have all kinds of amazing slick rock, some really cool free ride areas. And a lot of it is on BLM land, which come from the East Coast. It's kind of a novel idea. That would be the last mile and a half of the Hurricane Rim Trail. Below us, to the left, is Hurricane. To the right is Laverkin. And I love this place. I hope you enjoyed that. Peace.